14 asks, if illustrating proton transfer between two water molecules, the first electron pushing arrow must start at blank and end at blank. So let us depict this. We want to show what is happening here. We have a water molecule with its two lone pairs, and we have another water molecule with its two lone pairs. And what is going to happen? We're showing proton transfer. One of the water molecules is acting as an acid, and the other is acting as a base. So let's say that this one is acting as a base. It is going to take a lone pair from one of the oxygens and go ahead and attack that proton. So it's going to grab that proton. If we were going to finish this off, we would say that the electrons in this OH bond go and stay with the oxygen. So where did this start? We had to start at the oxygen of one molecule, and we ended at a hydrogen on the other molecule. That is how we depict proton transfer. It is a lone pair on the oxygen that went and grabbed a proton from the other water molecule, and we're going to end up with hydronium and hydroxide. So that's our auto-ionization of water right there. Remember, we're always going from electron-rich to electron-poor with all of our electron-pushing arrows. So we're starting from the lone pair and going to the electron-deficient proton. So that will be B.